I just don't understand how these other people do it. The famous example would be Northern Light. I, I don't understand how he does it. It's so difficult. So insanely difficult to focus or at least do something on the game and also talk about something that is very irrelevant to what to the game and just talk about it. Hey guys, so uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, Monster Train here. Yeah, uh, I haven't actually played this game for I think one week now since uh, I started school. Um, the last one that the last video where I had my face cam on was the one that I did not have the sound, the audio sound in. So uh, you guys could only see my face, but did not really see what I was talking about. But now this uh, we're gonna try the largest lads again. The this expert challenge here. We're gonna be doing Stygian Guard and Hellhorn. These two should be able to uh, actually beat this largest lad, these two clans here. Because, um, uh, so Umbra is, needs all to put down all the morsels, and if they're too large, uh, you won't be able to have enough uh, space to put down the morsels. And then for Melton Remnant, they take up a lot of space and they burn out, so that's uh, just not a very good mechanic to uh, for the largest lad or if they're too big it's not good if they keep on burn burning out uh, so last time I tried Stygian and uh, Awoken and that was not that did not work well uh, oh well I tried one that I did not upload it on the channel so I tried a Stygian Guard and a Woken, but then I failed and then now I'm trying Stygian Guard and Hellhorn to hopefully beat this challenge here. So the Hellhorn has all those big monsters, those big those big units that are much that you can just bring them down and then they can do a lot more damage than the Awoken units. The Awoken units are more used for the region and spikes and all that stuff. Um, and for Stygian Guard, they have the Incan triggers and those Incan triggers, if they are on one single floor, on the bottom floor, one single floor, all the Incan triggers, they you can keep on incanting and then uh, you just cast everything on that one single floor and it's good. So we're going to be doing, actually we're going to be doing the other torch here. Um, the torch instead of the Queen's Impling because the Impling sucks. Yeah, it's going to take up too much room to do. Anyways, we're going to start and uh, so a bit of an update on my life I guess. I've started the uh, architecture school again, graduate school. Um, it oh hey, Queen's Tail. But I don't have any imps, so nope. So um, I've started architecture school. Um, it's quite a bit of work so I haven't actually played this game for about a week a little bit more than a week now I have been doing all those other videos on this game about the uh, did you know series on uh, talking a little bit about the other stuff uh, the more more hidden mechanics more hidden mechanics in this game that uh, you and expect um, that you that you don't really expect from the actual what you so the the game does not operate as what you expect it. Anyway, so uh, and uh, talking about the Titan channel or the Code channel here, um, there has been this new update that has 
uh, improve that it has increased the uh, stats of the Titan channel, but they have increased that the uh, they have increased the number of stacks needed in order to actually activate the Titan channel. And for the last time that I did the uh, staging and the Woken, I picked the Titan channel path, and it did not work very well for me because I just couldn't activate. 12 stacks of the shard fast enough. I couldn't play 12 cards fast enough in order to properly to in order to actually pop the Titan channel and get it out of the phase state. Uh, and I mean, 12 stacks it takes me like two to three turns to actually pop out, and that can it. It is really bad in the larger slats because everything gets to pulled to the bottom floor. So in, in this time I'm going to be picking code channel. And now that they've increased the, the level 3 titan channel to 15 stacks now. So it's going to be even harder to uh, get it out of the fate state and actually use it properly. I think I think that people might use it as level two and then pick another one, uh, or even use it as level one and pick two levels of another path, and that can work. I think, uh, but I think the code channel is just so much better right now, at least. We will be taking the unit uh, draft here because we want to get as many units as possible out. Mm. This is a pickle. So, because of the largest slats, I cannot Uh, I cannot put both of these guys on the bottom floor, so I have to put them like this. Mm. Grab this, I guess. Well, this guy is dead. Uh. I don't know if that's the right call there. Okay, so this, this, this card, this, uh, I will do this. Yeah, so as I was saying, the uh, grad school is well, it's having a, a taking a lot of my time, and I couldn't really play the game. But now uh, I do have a little bit of time here, so I will uh, record this, and I will be trying to record. Uh, at least one update video every week on Mondays. Uh, that's my new schedule here. I will be uh, uploading on Mondays and uh, Fridays. So the Mondays will be more of an update video, and then on Fridays will be a like a more edited video, a more how do I say, a more refined video, and it, so this video will come out on Monday, and so Monday the, uh, let's see here, Monday the 21st, and uh, it will be more of an informal, just a chat, discussion, whatever. Hello, hello. Yeah, so 
hopefully hopefully you guys can uh, are okay with that and as I probably won't have much time making videos and uh, yeah so this will um, still reinforce still get me f familiar with new updates of the of this game and uh, see what uh, new strategies, new cards that are added in the game, or even major updates that I might cover, depending on my workload and uh, all that stuff. But oh, I, I I do plan to uh, cover at least a couple. Uh, I mean, at least once if a major update comes out, I do actually plan on covering it Nerf uh, the diligent nameless siren is good so that is my plan I guess yes I do want the merchant of steel here that is really good. Uh, Rail Peter, Branded Warrior. Not good enough. And I don't want too many units because I think I probably only need two cores. I will take this. Uh, just to get give it some more health in order to uh, for it to survive a little bit more. Bikes. Bikes should be fine. That is not fine. What? That's a so <laughs> five 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 one fifteen sixteen. this here That is good, I think. I mean, took a damage there, but can't do anything about that. Uh, this is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Okay. Crypt Builder. I do have the discard, uh, discard synergy, so Crypt Builder is a good choice. And let's take Corn Break. Yeah. Uh Okay, so let's see here. Soul Guard Name a Siren Let's see if I 
to get another good one. None of these units are good. I guess I shouldn't set, uh, settle just on like bad unit. And I think this is good. Duplicating this is good. How much health can I offer? Uh, 17 health. 17 health remaining. Hopefully I don't take any damage here. If I don't take any damage here, then it should be fine. Oh. Now that is a problem because I'm going to take too much damage on this guy and... That is a problem. Fifteen. I'll play it out and see, but uh. Vent. Gone power. Okay, so that offering. I guess the soul card is dead. Soul card is so... It's just so bad. Because it... It just does... It just has too little health to even do anything. This guy, play this guy, play this guy, foreground power. Play this guy. This doesn't really matter. Alright. So far so good. One horse tome. That is a really interesting choice. <sighs> One horse tome. A very interesting choice. I forgot to check my camera. Uh, I think this over here is good. It doesn't block the health. It doesn't block the card. Maybe a little bit bigger. Alright, one horns tomb. I do need to uh, lower the cost of it. Merchant of Steel is probably gonna go there to upgrade my. Uh, uh, nameless Sirens again. Or, or it gives War Guard. Gifts for a guard.
Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Alright. Hmm. Demon Fiend? <laughs> right now I have... So... Soul Guard Named the Siren on one floor Named the Siren and something else on another floor But instead of the demon picking the demon fiend, which is just a 50-50 that takes up four spaces, maybe I should pick the icy cellophite, which has sweep and apply spell weakness in case I don't kill them. Uh, oh, but I do have Solgar providing the uh, frostbite. Yeah... I think it might work. So, um... Talking... Taking a little bit... Um... Taking a topic that it's not about the monster train here. <laughs> Uh, I do want to maybe talk about uh, what uh, I um, how school has been for me. It is kind of very different from the undergraduate uh, programs that uh, many of you may have experienced uh, since going to university is actually like the standard uh, right now for most cultures, most uh, communities like the Asians, uh, even white people, they really want their kids to go to the university and that is pretty much the standard. And uh, but for graduate school, it's, a lit it's not standard. We go to it because we want to go not because we're kind of quote unquote forced to go um, so it's kind of a, like a different environment in that um, everyone there is very engaged it's very Um, how do I say this? Up on their game, even <laughs> doing the work, and I feel like I shouldn't be uh, slacking. <laughs> be honest, I haven't been back in school for like three to four years now, um, uh, so it's Kind of feels a little bit strange going back to school, doing all this work and doing all this, uh, worrying about all the doing homework, doing like research, all this stuff. And instead of just going to work, uh, instead of work, if you're working, you're just going to work, you do your work and then you go back home and you're just relaxed. Should I take this? I think I can take this. Just to test my limits here on the death. So back on the uh end of the talk about my uh Radric school here, it's Hmm... 
Oh, I should, oops. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to, to um, maybe so I, I forget what I was trying to say. Um, <laughs> kind of, it's so difficult to play a game and also think of what you're trying to say and I, I don't I I just don't understand how <laughs> these other people do it or like a famous example would be Northern Light I I don't understand how he does it it's so difficult this is like it's so insanely difficult to uh, focus or at least do something on the game and also play the and also talk about something that is very ir ir irrelevant to what to the game and just talk about it. Uh, yeah, so, I, oh yeah, okay, so what I was trying to say was that I, I, um, that, uh, like right now it's only the first week of school starting and I already feel like it has been like months of, of going to class. I feel the pressure like building because it, just it's, the pressure is there uh, if you want to acknowledge it or not it's still there and I just really think that uh, the how do I say this the I think our like it's I just feel the um, very different the difference between the our normal school systems and like a higher education for example grad school or doctors there's a gap sort of in uh, if you are really interested in something like the like what I'm st studying like architecture or if you're really interested in the topic or not you can uh, you um, have to actually do a lot more work than what the school has to offer to you and then you can like actually do something with it another large song Maybe instead I do uh, this. I don't want to do. I don't want to uh, use large stone to uh, have to make it too big. I'm gonna get rid of all the train stewards, and uh, next I'm gonna probably get rid of the water helpers to rid of my deck of all the extra units that is a lot of damage that is gonna be a lot of damage i don't think i can do it ten and it's gonna be times two Oh my god.
Uh, yes, I have to do that. Oh, even though these guys have quick, I can't. Uh, these guys, even though I have quick on my uh, icy saddle fight here, I can't hit them because they're hidden. Okay, well that is good. Power. Well, they're still. This guy is still dead. Still have gifts for a guard. Yeah, I guess I will take it. If it hits the. Um, the. What's it called? One horse home? I can actually make it work. Another in flame? Sure, sure. I will try to get some artifacts, I guess. That anvil is really good. And apply silence. I can re-roll and yep. I think wing is steel is good. Okay. Arcus. Arcus has the incant thing. That might be a really bad thing because Simply because I uh, like some turns I might not be able to cast the spell like for example right now and then uh, I leave some of the units up Uh, is there a way to kill that? Okay, that is good. What is this? Rally? Well, I'll just play this. Doesn't really matter. Just get it, get it out of my hand. Quirk Builder 5 5 5 5 This is Rally So I go Gifts I go this Um Titans too, sure. Uh, 
silence it doesn't really matter. That sucks. Oh well. Uh and flame torch foreground power torch foreground power. So I'm just, I'm just casting every single spell that I can get my hands on. And by the time the boss comes in, even though I only have 13 HP on my Soul Guard here, these guys have like 120 armor, 89 armor. Yeah. Okay. I actually got it. Oh, I should have get gotten rid of the. Oh well. Rage, double the amount of rage. I think that is a really good one. And let's. Take, I think it will take draw. There, because I, okay, I don't need. Uh, my units don't cost anything. Uh, my spells don't cost anything after I play a big spell. And I also have the uh, what's it called? The gifts for a guard. Where is it? It's right here. So I will also have this guy to reduce the cost of my spells. So I will go to the spells side and Merchant of Magic, I mean, and then hold over. Hmm, hold over. Hold over. I guess I'll inflame and I'll try to double it, double stack it. But double stack has that um, has that the add one extra cost. Hmm. I think this is fine. Oh, I don't have money. I don't have money? I ran out of money so quickly. I get rid of these guys. A okay, code channel level 3. I mean, for if you're going Soul Guard Code Channel, you have to go to level three. I mean, you don't have to, but it's really recommended to go to level three. Mm, I think I can actually do this. Wait, this might. Pose a problem here. Oh. Well. Well,
That is a problem. This is a problem. And how do I put out the icy sulfide? Maybe I should leave it to die? Maybe leaving it to die is... Like a better option, I guess. Alright, gifts. Okay, one horn. I will do torch, torch. I should have played vent. Anyways, and flame. I look whole last stand. I forgot about the guy on the top there. That was oops. An oops a moment. This is so... This is so freaking... So much damage. There's so much damage coming in. I think this is good. Okay, and then foreground power. This is good. This... Alright, whatever. Good enough. I think I have this. Rain? No. No. Uh, branding right? Uh, I want to- I want the March of the Shields, right? Not a brand new right, but brand new right has to do. Um, this way for sure. Getting rid of all over. Random right? I can't. I don't have that much HP to to kill. I think this is good, and then I upgrade it. Do I lower the cost? Maybe I don't lower the cost and I try to... Oh shit, I should have lowered the cost of something else. Uh... Piercing, that is good. And I think 
lowers the cost of this. Then I probably get rid of not foregone powers. Maybe one torch and one. And this other in flame? Hmm. All right. You know what? I will just copy the... I'm just so... I just don't know what to go, what's good to copy. Maybe the last stand, it's really good and rage. I just don't know. I just... I have no idea. What did I miss here? This might be good. This is really good too. And I really want a lot more cards in my deck for this consume to in order to actually get consumed. Okay. Alright, so I have to play this. Oh my. Orch. And then Orch. a good one to consume I guess and then I guess I get rid of this guy and then I can start uh, armoring up okay so Need to consume one. I'm going to take two. I'm going to take how much damage? Fifteen damage. They not take fifteen damage. I mean, I took one damage. Okay, so I think that it's a good one to do.
Wow. What? <laughs> okay, fine. Token, I guess. There's two turns to go. I guess this is now consumed. I can't do anything about it. Alright, so torch that. Vent. Vent. I mean, it should be good enough. Yeah, it is good enough. I mean, I have 300? Whoa, wait, I have 340 times 2? I just... I just realized. What? Really? Alright, there it is. Okay. I guess I still haven't lost my touch. Ooh, wow. Okay, that was actually not that bad. It was a pretty intense fight. Pretty intense round, but not that bad. Did I unlock anything? No, I didn't. Right, I unlocked all the cards in staging. So, one, two, three, four, five. These cards are all of the the new champions and their um, default cards that come with them. And these, the two, we have one bone dog, and then one. The other one was, I think, was a, either the shield or the sword. I think it was the shield that I still need to unlock. It's either that or the uh, rail drive, rail driver, or uh, like the spike, spike, rail spike. The rail spike from the automaton that duplicates. That's the other card that I haven't unlocked. Oh, or I can just look at this. And yeah, it's a rail spike. Uh, I have the shields unlocked, so real spike and the bone dog. I made a video on that on the bone dog thing. It's so damn hard, difficult to get the bone dog. Anyways, that's uh, expert challenge, largest lats. I have done it. Uh, I have actually done a lot more expert challenges than I have shown on my channel because I have just done it without uh, any commentary so I will um, try to get all those videos out and put my sort of post commentary on it but I know that 
non uh, that it's not a very well received series, but I will I will do it when I have the time. But right now I just don't have the time. So we just have the extra pain train left, and I will just continue tackling it every week. I will still post uh, it, the video out if I even I have a defeat uh, because I it's more of an informal uh, session and it's more of an information note like giving you guys an update on the week of my, of my week and things that happened and stuff like that. So yeah. Just that's it for I guess this past week, all the stuff that has happened to me and all these I guess I wouldn't say bad things, but there I do feel the pressure mounting. I feel the pressure on my shoulders. I think it's a good pressure, but it's definitely I can feel the pressure like mounting and it, 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 it's actually there. Yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my rant here. And I hope you guys will join me for next week. Bye for now.